I'm going to show you how to build your own AI assistant for your board games from scratch. Let's go. Hiya folks, welcome back to Birds on Board, your home of board gaming excellence. My name is Pigeon, and today we have a special video for you. A few weeks back, Tom Vassell from the Dice Tower did an awesome video about using a new tool to create an AI assistant for your board games. Now, I really enjoyed that, but I felt that Tom kind of ran through the overview of what this thing could do, and he never actually showed folks the step-by-step -step guide about how to create one from scratch. So, I thought, let's do it together. Let's create an AI rulebook assistant for your board games from scratch. Also, so Tom didn't mention what I feel is the most exciting feature. It's the feature that everyone's blabbing about on the internet. And I will take you guys through it, how to use it. And I'll give you a hint. Podcasts. So you're going to need a laptop, a PC, a mobile device, something connected to the internet. You want to go to notebooklm.google. Now that's the site we're going to be using. So notebooklm is this tool. LM is for language model. And you can imagine an AI being this big library of all different types of information on the internet. Now, something like ChatGPT was like that. It has a vast array of, of, of data. And those are LLMs, a large language model. Now, Notebook LM, you see, is missing one L. It's a language model, but it is a language model only sourced with data you give it. And that's the secret. So we're going to be giving this thing a whole bunch of uh, board game data. And then we're going to be asking the AI questions and information and suggestions based on those sources that we've now inputted. And here we are on Notebook LM. Uh, you'll see it gives you a brief overview of what all uh, this AI tool can use. You'll notice in the top right it is experimental. And we just go ahead and click Try Notebook LM. So here we are at the Create Your First Notebook page. And you'll see they even give us some um, examples here at the bottom of other notebooks if we want to try them out. And the way we do this, as mentioned before, is we're going to, we're going to add our own documents, our own uh, PDF files, our own YouTube videos, our own website links, a whole bunch of stuff you can add. Now, as we're creating a board game assistant for us to use, I thought, why don't we just go ahead and start adding some rule books? And I thought, which game to try out? And I thought we might as well try. <laughs> we might as well try Heat. Heat's a nice game. Folks love it. I love it. So let's go to the Days of Wonder website and download the official rule set for the game. So here we are on the Days of Wonder website. And if we scroll down, we can see some of the big hitters. There's Ticket to Ride. We have Heat, obviously. We have Small World, Memoir 44, some more games. But I think, as we said earlier, let's go over to Heat. We're going to click this Discover button. Click. And then in the Heat area, if we scroll, 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 usually there's a place to, there we are, we can download the rule set. Ha-ha! Now, at this point, once you've downloaded your first rule book, your first PDF, I'd suggest you just go double check the file. Just make sure it's the one you were expecting. Have a quick scroll through. So here we have the rules for heat pedal to the metal. These are the, the core set of rules. Uh, tells us the components, object of the game, setting up the game, um, all the different steps when you're playing around. Now you'll notice there's a lot of um, iconography, a lot of symbols here. Now the AI, because it's a language model, it shouldn't recognize those, but hopefully the manual is written in such a way that um, will understand the context. Okay, great. So our first source, that PDF we downloaded, looks legit. Let's go ahead and include that source and add it to our notebook. Okay, so here we are at the notebook. We're going to hit Create. And now it's asking us to add our sources. And you can see here at the bottom, we can add things like uh, Google Drive, Docs, or Slides. Uh, we can add any website or even a YouTube video. Assuming that it's been annotated, you can also copy your own text. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and choose a file. Um, I've put it in this folder over here. Ignore that um, second folder. It's nothing. Never mind. And then there, there's our base rule. So let's upload that. You'll see here in the top left, it's busy processing it, just reading through it. And there we are. All done. Great. So it already gives us a summary and suggestion quest questions, which we can ignore. But if we go to the source itself, you can actually see how the AI, how this notebook is interpreting it. You will see it's just a bunch of playtext, no symbols or iconography. And you can also see it gives us a summary of this doc, as well as some key topics that it is already uh, gotten out of it. How great is that? So we're all ready to go. Now, once the source we've uploaded has finished processing, we can now start asking our AI assistant 
anything we want clarity on around that source. Uh, so here we can go to the bottom of the page and let's type in how do I set up a game for four players? Um, yeah, you just type into the chat box at the bottom like you're talking to your bestest friend who knows all about board games, birds on board. And look at that. Less than a minute later, place the game board in the middle of the table for your first game. Each player chooses a color. It's got a little bit of a list going on with a small little summary. Nice and quick. I didn't have to search in the rule book. And even if I see these little numbers, that clicking on them lets me see where in the rule book it sussed out that information. Hovering over it gives us a little tooltip as well as which source we got that from. Uh, let's try another question. So let's try um, what are the basic oops, yeah, cards all players need to start the game question mark again it shouldn't take too long there we are uh, to start a game of heat pedal metal each player needs a set of cards years of breakdown and we've got a quick bullet point list and let's try what is the suggested track for a first time player now there's a quiz let's see if you folks know it well done. The suggested track is the USA track. Again, you can click there and you can see exactly where I got that from. And even final, oh, one lap. It's gone further than the question. Now, let me try this one. Remember, it's only understanding the source, the sources that we've given it, which is only the base rule. So if I say, how do I set up the garage module? What do you think it will say? Let's have a look. The sources provided do not contain information on the garage module. It is mentioned as a feature in the advanced rulebook. Oh, okay, so that's more than I expected. It actually says, I don't know what that is, but it was mentioned. Okay. Now, lastly, I would like you folks to do this. Click on the notebook guide, and in this under audio uh, deep dive conversation, click on generate, and then let's wait a bit. Now, what the generate audio button does is actually so amazing. This is the thing that Tom left up, and I feel it's the most excited I've been for AI in a while, just because it's so fantastic. So what it does is it takes all the sources that you've provided. Now, remember, we just provided the base set, the base rule set for heat pedal to metal, but it takes all the sources provided, and it generates a deep dive audio overview in the format of a podcast between a male and a female host. This audio quality is fantastic. They banter. They have such chemistry. They make a lot of jokes. And it really is a great way to quickly understand a topic that you don't have much understanding on. Remember, this is AI, so it isn't infallible. It makes mistakes. It has this thing called memories where it makes up facts that doesn't really exist. But this is board games. It's all for fun. Let's go ahead and listen to the audio podcast. It's generated for us. Okay, so one more thing you want to do is maybe just give your notebook a, a name that's easy, easier to reference in the future. Uh, heat pedal to the metal. Uh, uh, no. Smart, smart rule book. Sounds okay. And then we can scroll on here. Let's go to the notebook out again. And look, haha, our audio overview is ready. Five minutes. Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're really going to put the pedal to the metal, diving deep into heat. Settle to the metal. Yeah, we're going to give you all the tips and strategy you need so by the end of this deep dive, you'll be winning every race. So I took a look at the rule book, and honestly, at first glance, it seems kind of simple, right? You just got to be the first to finish the laps around the track. Well, there's definitely more to it than that. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. So before we get into the really nitty gritty, can you kind of walk us through what exactly we're working with here? Like, what's in the box? Okay, so you got your game board. There are different tracks to choose from, but let's stick with the USA track for this. Sounds good to me. So each player. So what do you think? Just to reiterate, those weren't real people. Those were two machines chatting to each other. It sounded so real to me. I only played you the first 30 seconds, but I will be linking somewhere over here. I'll be linking the full podcast in case you want to have a listen. I'll put it in the description below as well. But either way, you go ahead and create your own now. Go give it a shot, see what you think. Leave your comments down below. Is it as fancy as I said this? It is 100%. As fancy as I said it is. Next up, let me just quickly show you how we can add more sources to our notebook. So here we are back on the Days of Wonder website. Uh, scrolling down, I don't see 
the advanced rule set uh, the, for the advanced modules. Uh, but I do see, hey, we've got a trailer and we've got Board Game Arena. Now, I tried copying the link and adding the YouTube video, but it doesn't have annotations, so I can't use that. But we do have Board Game Arena. So if we head over here with a quick click, so here we are on the heat pedal to the metal page for Board Game Arena, and they always have some files you can download. Obviously, you can also go to Board Game Geek, even a better resource. But here we are, oh, Advanced Play. That's what we want, so we can click to download that. And here we have the advanced rule set, the extra components, the garage module. Uh, what else have we got? Building your car, the legends for solo, the weather and road conditions module, the championship system, uh, the tournament mode, and uh, a quick guide for all the iconography. So the iconography and symbols might be a bit tricky. So while on the Days of Wonder site, I did notice, haha, heat heavy rain, so let's head over there. And here we are, and on Heat Heavy Rain, the expansion, we should find, if we're lucky, some more rules. So let's go ahead and download that. English, please. And here we have the Heat Heavy Rain expansion. Just double checking. Yep, the components, flooded spaces, chicanes, aggressive legends. Uh, super cool symbol. Oh, I wonder how that's going to pick up. And credits and championship system. Good. And one more thing I spotted on the Board Game Arena page was, haha, Rodney Smith from Watch It Played, a friend of the channels. And if we go ahead and click play then I'm pretty sure they annotate their videos. So we should be able to pause, there's the annotation, and click copy link, and now we've got that. So now we have three more sources we can add. We have the advanced rule set for the base game. We have the rule set for the expansion, Heavy Rain. And we also have Rodney Smith from Watch It Play explaining how to play Heat Pedal to the Middle, which is great. We have that URL link that we can pass in. Uh, the annotation should be read. Let's go ahead and add those three sources. So back again at our notebook, we're going to click the Add Sources button. And I think to start off, let's go ahead and paste that YouTube URL that we copied earlier. We just paste it in there and click Insert. It should try its best to find the annotations on the video and has it yes it has so we've got the video there it's already got a summary and key topics and also the full annotation uh, printout let's go ahead and add some more sources you can add more than one source at a time so let's add both the advanced play and the heavy rain expansion might take a bit longer now to process as there's more than one file and wait and we wait and we wait one done and two done there we go let's double check so again we can see all the text that gives us a summary gives us Key topics, garage module, legends, weather, everything. Great stuff. And let's check the other one out. Heavy rain. There we are. It pulled everything down. There's our summary. Flooded spaces, aggressive legends, chicanes. Everything we need. Great stuff. So using this method, we can download more and more sources and add them and improve our notebook. And the responses we get will become more and more uh, smart, <laughs> more better, more, more accurate, as it were. So let's go back and go ask that same question we did about the garage modules back to our notebook AI after we've added some more resources. So here we are back at our notebook page. Uh, all our sources have been added happily. We can go down and now we can start asking again. Can you give me a brief description of the garage module? Question mark. And now hopefully this time it will actually respond with something more. You can actually see the previous time we asked that it, it, it wasn't sure. It knew that it existed, but not what it did. Let's see. Yep, and there we are. Here we go. Now we get a nice brief description. Uh, tells us the new functionality, some of the new um, categories of the upgrade cards. Again, giving reference to where it found that in which source that we've added. Highlights it there, and we can also obviously uh, hover over. You'll also see at the bottom here, it's given us some other questions as well as here in, under the notebook guide. Suggested question, questions. Let's give that a shot. So how does the game balance speed, strategy, risk to create a challenging, engaging racing experience? So what's nice about this is you can actually see how Notebook LM can actually be used to give you an overview of if this game is something you'd enjoy or not. Um, look at that. Great. It's given us a, a blurb about how awesome this game is. 
Uh, let's find out what are the new mechanics introduced in the heavy rain expansion. So we've we've added the heavy rain rulebook. Let's see if it actually understands that that is a thing now. It's loading. Hold your horses. There we are. And it's listed everything. Flooded spaces, chicanes, aggressive legends, super cool symbol, the new racetracks, everything. So I did just quickly want to jump back in here. Um, I wasn't planning on showing this, but I didn't know about it. Then. I just spotted it now. I wanted to share. So when I went back to the page where it lists all my uh, notebooks that I've created, you'll see my heat pedal to the metal um, smart rule book there. Now, you'll also notice there's a little icon in the top left, a little race car. I didn't add that. I didn't choose that. So another fun thing about this is once you give your notebook a name and add some sources, it susses out the, uh, the theme of the notebook and it gives you a nice uh, icon. I notice here with the introduction, you get a little wave with the invention of the light bulb. You get a light bulb with a mugifier document. You get a cup of coffee, it seems. And with the Westwood mushrooms example, we got a mushroom. So I don't know how far the emoji go, but fun nonetheless. So there you go. Now you folks know how to create your own smart rule book for your board games using Notebook, LM, and AI. How exciting. Let me know. Let me know if you folks find any new features you can leave reducing Notebook LM or any other sort of AI. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you have tried this and if you approve of it or you don't approve of it. Remember, AI is very contentious at this stage. It makes a lot of mistakes and some people don't know that. It can be used to fool folks. So there's a lot of good and bad. Um, I'm trying to find the nice pros to it just for fun. You know, this, this is all just for fun. It helps you out. Great stuff. So this has been Birds on Board, your home of board gaming excellence. I've been Pigeon. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And in the comments below, if you can, let me know if that AI podcast fooled you. Do you think those were really two, two real humans talking and I've just pulled the wool over your eyes? Or if that really is AI? It sounds so good. Remember, that I've put the link in the description below. So if you are keen to uh, give it a listen, go for it and tell me what you think. But enough waffling. Thank you so much again for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful week and happy gaming all. Cheers.